Imagine hitting your first million by the age of 33 without waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning, without taking massive risks, and without sacrificing your joy. That was me. And let me tell you, it's not some secret formula or a one-time luck. It was the small tiny habits that I did every day that completely changed my financial future. And the best part, you can start applying these habits today. I'm Chloe and people fondly know me as the Arigato Investor, where I built my first million by the age of 33 by investing in the stocks and options market. But guess what? Investing is just one part of it. There are so many millionaire tiny habits that I practice every day to make me become who I am today. And today, I'm sharing with you the 10 millionaire habits that make all the difference in my life. And these are not just for millionaires. They're for anyone who wants to take back control of their finances and create real lasting well, these habits are life changing, and I promise you that they are not as hard as you might think. So let's dive in. Let's start with a game changer eat the fraud. We've all been there, feeling stressed and overwhelmed, running around to try to get things done, replying emails, handling administrative tasks, basically just putting out fires. You work so hard every day, yet it just feels like no matter how much you do, there is no real progress in your life. Does it sound familiar to you? For example, recently I came back from my three weeks holiday, and after I came back, I was trying to catch up with every single thing that I needed. And because of that, I ended up feeling so stressed and biting my fingernail. Then I stopped and asked myself, why? Like, why was I feeling so stressed? Just that it was because I was focusing all these urgent, but not really important tasks. Like replying emails, settling some admin stuff, running errands. All of them are urgent, but they are not important to help me to achieve my big goal. And one of the bold goals that I set for myself is to have my first 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I don't know how long will that take, but I know that if I keep on doing these tasks, it's not going to help me to achieve my goal. That's why immediately realizing that, I need to make sure I sit down and record videos like this to help me get closer to what I truly want to achieve in life. And I will really appreciate that you can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you become part of my journey. Aligato. Eat the frog means that you need to prioritize. Means tackling the big important tasks that can help you to achieve your goal. Maybe for you it's making a difficult phone call or working on your side hustles. Prioritizing what truly matters to you will really give you the mental clarity and the momentum that you need to achieve your goals. And when you get it done, the rest of the days feel so much easier. Trust me, this habit is the game changer and will make you unstoppable. Which leads us to number two, write down your goals regularly. I'm pretty sure you have heard of this habit again and again, but very few people actually do it because you do need to set aside time every single day or at least regularly to go through this exercise. But trust me, the effort is really worth it because writing down goals isn't just about motivational, but it also gives you a game plan. Ideally, you should write down your big goals in a big dream board like this so you can visually remind yourself every single day what you want to achieve in your life. For example, since I quit my job since the beginning of the year, my goal is to have my own business running and make that $2 million eventually. So I stick it here to remind myself visually every day that I want to achieve this. And of course, it also includes all the different places that I want to go in my life. I want to eventually have a very nice house beside the river. I want to inspire more women to start investing and that's why I have a picture of a few ladies here. The whole idea of this dream board is to just visually remind yourself every day and just by looking at this, it makes me feel good and make me feel happier as well. On top of the big goals, you can also consider writing down mini goals every single week. And the mini goals should in the long run help you to support your big goals over there. So the big goal help you to set the vision that you want and the small goals help you to be on track. By doing so, you will stay focused and turning your dreams into reality. Number three, be open to new income stream. Maybe when you hear it, you'll be like, duh, who doesn't like a new form of income stream, right? But very often I realize that people want a different sources of income stream, but they are not willing to even try it out. That means the moment when they were suggested to try out this, you'll be thinking, okay, this cannot be done, or that is like scam and all this. And because of that, they never try out, they are never truly open-minded, and that's why they don't have the different sources of income streams that other people enjoy. I remember when I used to be a journalist, I only had one source of income 
which was my salary. I remember back then I felt so tired because my working hours were so long, I felt so stuck and I had no other choice because that was my sole source of income. And it took me some time for a friend to persuade me to consider other sources of income like investing. And when I became open to that, then my whole financial future start to change. And eventually I became more and more open to different sources, not just from investing, but creating videos like YouTube, on TikTok, and eventually starting my own business. I realized the more that I'm open, the more opportunities open up in my life. And because of that, I have much more financial stability and abundance right now as compared to what I was 10 years ago as a journalist. So diversifying my income source was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. The best part is you don't have to quit your job to find different sources of income. You can start small by doing freelancing, investing, or even turning your passion or your hobby into something profitable online. As long as you keep your mind open you'll be surprised at how much your financial situation can change when you stop relying on one single source of income. And recently, I also started exploring a different stream of income, copy trading. Three months ago, when I first started exploring copy trading, which is a viable source of income for those who have no experience in trading or simply no time to monitor or trade on your own. So the question is, how can copy trading be beneficial to traders? Firstly, in terms of accessibility, it's great for beginners who have no experience in trading because basically you don't have to trade. You just need to copy the trader who is good at trading. And every time the person opens a certain position, your account will automatically follow because right now you are copying his or her trade. Secondly, it also promotes diversification as you can follow different traders across different markets, whether it is stock trading, forex, gold trading, or even indices. And thirdly, and the most important thing to me is I don't have to be in front of the computer trading all the time and analyzing all the charts because the trader that you copy will do this for you. So it really saves me a lot of hours trying to do trading myself. And when the traders make money, I make money at the same time. There are many copy trading platforms out there. And one of the platform that I'm testing on is XM. With over 10 million clients since it was founded in 2009, XM has grown to a large and well-established international investment firm. You can trade over thousand plus instruments on XM from Forex, commodities, indices to stocks. Its extensive experience combined with support for well over 30 languages makes XM the broker of choice for traders of all level anywhere. XM provides a fair and trustworthy trading experience by pioneering a strict no recalls and no rejection policy. Meanwhile, all clients benefit from negative balance protection, so they are never at risk of losing more than their account balance. If you want to find out more about XM Copy Trading for your trading journey, check out the link in my bio. Also, XM is giving out a deposit bonus for their clients. All you need to do is to use a promo code in the description box below to get started. Number four, review your income and expenses once a month. Let's be honest. We all love spending money because that's what creating wealth is about, right? That you can spend money on things that you enjoy and you love. But the problem is if you keep on spending and without knowing where your money is going, it can be very disastrous. One of the most eye-opening habits that I developed over the years was sitting down at the end of the month to review where did my money go. And the moment I start doing this, I really felt that I'm more at ease with my entire financial situation because it gave me a lot of clarity of where I am today. It tells me how much money I'm making from different sources of income. It also tells me how much money am I spending on different categories as well. And from this, I get to see whether am I spending too much in one particular category. For example, I travel too much. Then I know, okay, maybe next time when I go traveling, I should probably be more careful about my expenses. And the most liberating part is because of I've been doing all this tracking, it gives me a lot of clarity on how much money do I actually have left at the end of the month. And from there, I can easily decide, wow, out of all these savings I have, how much money can I continue to put inside the stocks and options market to continue to compound my millions? I actually made a detailed video of how I use this Excel spreadsheet to track all my expenses. If you want to find out more, be sure to check out this video over here. And if you also want to get a copy of the exact template that I'm showing you right now, make sure to hit the link in my bio and download this expense and income tracker. And I can't wait to see you gaining more more clarity in this exercise. Remember, you don't get rich by being careless with your money. Awareness is the key to creating wealth in life. Number five, read voraciously. Books have 
been my secret weapon. Believe it or not, I used to be a person who disliked reading. But once I have the mindset shift and start to welcome books into my life, from investing to personal development, it feels like new doors were opening in my mind. Here are the top five books that helped me to shift my mindset and develop a better relationship with money over time. The question is, all of us are busy. How are we going to make time to read when we have all the other things that we need to do in our life? Here's the secret. Find time to read. Don't roll your eyes because it's true. Like if you never find time to start doing something, you will never do it. The key to start cultivating a habit is to start it with something small. I usually like to do my reading every morning after I wake up. And when I first started, I only do like five minutes. And over time, I felt that, wow, five minutes is enjoyable, was so fast, I increased my span to like 10 minutes, eventually 20 minutes, 30 minutes. That's why you don't have to set the ambitious goal that, wow, I must finish reading this book in like this week, because it's just humanly impossible, at least for most of us. But can you afford to read just five minutes a day? Maybe you can start with just reading one page or two pages. And just by doing that, you can start to unlock new ideas that lead to long-term wealth building. So grab a book now and let it guide you to new opportunities. If you really don't like reading for some reason, well, then the next advice will be very useful for you. Listening to podcasts on the go. I personally really enjoy listening to investing and personal development podcasts, whether I'm brushing my teeth or taking public transportation. I am always listening. Podcast is like giving you a free education. The more that you listen, the more your mindset will expand. You will start seeing opportunities and strategies that you wouldn't even know existed. Here are my favorite podcasts that have helped me grow over the years. Comment down below which one are your favorite podcasts too. Other than these self-enrichment podcasts, if you're looking for a podcast that focuses on market sentiments and economic news, you can also consider XM Podcast. It provides traders with very meaningful and informed content, encompassing up-to-date information for investments, as well as updates on the economic events around the globe. Explore XM Podcast in the description box below. Number seven, automate your investment by using dollar cost averaging. I know investing in the stock market can feel overwhelming and maybe even scary for some people because the market can be really volatile. But here's the thing, if you automate your investment through dollar cost averaging, it will remove you from all the emotions and the fear that people generally face. And because of that, you will have the peace of mind when it comes to investing and see your wealth grow in a long period of time. For example, using one of brokerage accounts, I've been investing $150 every single month into VOO, which tracks the S&P 500 index. And guess what? Since March this year, without me monitoring the market, I've been just keep on buying VOO every single month from March until now, I've made about 7%. Not too bad for doing nothing and just watching my money grow, right? Of course, this part of automation is just a tiny part of my portfolio because I still do other forms of investing like options, which can help me to get a better return. If you also want to learn how to use options to combine with your investment to increase your return in a very safe way, then make sure to join my upcoming free two hour Options to Freedom Masterclass. I will show you how you can actually use options to generate passive income safely so that it can help you to reach your financial goal in a much shorter time possible. All you need to do is to sign up for my masterclass using the link in the description box below. Now here comes number eight, build relationships. We often underestimate the power of connections. And let me tell you, some of the best opportunities I have in my life didn't come from me sitting behind the screen. They came from me meeting new people, grabbing coffee together and having meaningful conversation. Every month, I will make it a point to connect with someone because that will help me to expand my network. And building up your network isn't just about business. It's also about you learning and growing together with the person. And sometimes finding one connection can just open up so many doors in your life. So as much as you are working hard towards your financial future, make sure you still get out there, make friends, build connections, and learn from more people. And sometimes the meetup doesn't have to be just a coffee chat. It can even be a workout together which leads us to number nine, workout 
frequently. Sometimes it's very easy for us to just keep on focusing on wealth building and ignore our own health. But we all know that without health, wealth doesn't mean much to us anymore. I remember this year, there was one time that I got so sick. I just felt like, oh my gosh, you know, regardless how much money that I have in my bank, it's not going to give me joy except for me recovering and having my able body again. And that is why I always make it a habit to take care of my health by working out regularly because it keeps me energized, focused, mentally sharp, and most importantly, stay happy and truly enjoy the wealth that I've created for myself and my loved ones. So whether it's a quick walk or just hitting the gym, exercise will really help you to stay on top of your game. And that's why make it a tiny habit to start doing that. And last but not least, the habits that keep us grounded, practicing gratitude every single day. Every morning after I wake up, before I take out any books to read, I will actually have my gratitude journal time where I spend a couple of minutes just to write down what am I grateful for in life. I only started doing this after I interviewed this very famous fund manager. His name is Garden Bay. He's also the author of The Joys of Compounding and I highly recommend you to read this book as well. And during the interview, he shared with me the daily habits that he does to make him to become who he is today. And one of the things that he shared is basically about gratitude journaling. So since then, I've been writing three things I'm grateful for every single day. I basically have already completed one entire notebook. It's been less than a year and I felt that just by doing this very simple exercise every day, it has really helped me to transform my mindset. It makes me feel happier. It makes me feel more grateful towards whatever things I have. And I think whatever things that I appreciate, appreciate more. Now I have more wealth as compared to what I had a year ago. I have better sleep. I have more quality relationship. And most importantly, a happier life. It sounds really simple, but it really works. When you focus on what you have, you naturally attract more good things into your life. Another thing that I do every day is I do say prayers. I know it sounds a little bit spiritual, but I always think that my prayers get answered one way or another. No matter how insignificant it is, somehow the universe, God just answer my prayer. Let me give you one example. Recently, I came back from my two weeks Japan holiday. And when I flew there, right, because I didn't fly a uh, business class or first class, but at the same time, I want to have ample space for me to rest my legs. So <laughs> I basically pray to God that, God, please give me, you know, a full stretch row by myself so that I can sleep in the airplane. And guess what? My prayer was answered. Like all the rows around me were all completely filled, but the row that I have, it's empty. It's like completely empty. It's really crazy. And God didn't answer my prayer once. He answered twice because when I came back, when I prayed the same thing, I was blessed with an empty row again. Nice. You know, sometimes it does feel a little bit spiritual, but I felt that law of attraction works. And it puts me at peace that no matter what happened, someone out there is looking out for me. I know not everybody will share the same belief, but it's okay. I'm just sharing what has worked for me. And saying prayers and practicing gratitude every day has helped me to come very far. So there you have it. The 10 millionaire tiny habits that helped me to achieve my first million by the age of 33. And as you can see, these habits are really simple. And the best part is you don't have to do every single thing immediately. You can start picking up one habit or two habits first, start small and stay consistent. Over time, you'll be amazed how far you have come. If this video inspired you, remember to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more investing, personal finance insights and living your best life possible together. And hey, if you know someone who is also in the process of leveling up their finances, make sure to share this video with them and inspire them to start developing all of these powerful and simple habits together. Arigato for being here and I will see you in my next video.